Hi everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create an AI app using Claude in just a few minutes. Once we're done, I'll show you how to upload your project to the web using tiny.host. So I've just logged into my Claude account now, which was all free, and I'll show you just how easy it is to make your AI app. So all you have to do is go to this section here, asking how it can help us today, and just describe exactly what you want. So I want a calculator, so I'm gonna say, please make a calculator app in HTML. So HTML is the file type that will eventually upload to the web. You can see it on the right there, but you don't need to understand it because here is our calculator. We can have a quick test, go two plus two equals four, and we have a working calculator. We can also make some edits if we want. So we can say, please make the calculator black. And again, give it some time to think generate that HTML we are after, and there's our black calculator. So that's how easy it is. Once you have, once you're happy with the app, what you can do is go to this download button here, download it to file. And now that we have that file, I'll show you how to upload it to the web using tiny.host. So I've just logged into tiny.host now to upload our calculator to the web. To get started, I'm gonna click upload and then get that HTML file from earlier and drag it into the upload section. Now it's asking for a link name, so I'm gonna call it my calculator and then click publish. And I was about to say it's super quick, it's already done. I'm gonna click that link to check it out. And now here's the calculator that we just created. You can see it's working great, but now we have a link that we can share with our friends to show the project that we created. We can also check out some extra features that Tiny has. So they have this analytics feature so that we can see who's checking it out. You can see that is all me checking out the own, my own website. And we can just see some extra features. So you can embed a link or publish to your own custom domain. There's a lot of extra things you can do with Tiny. If you enjoyed this video and wanna see more tips from us, please remember to like and subscribe. With that all said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.